Osteoarthritis is one of the most common uh, problems in our uh, facility. Um, it's very common in the older population. Uh, and the reason why is because in order to get to osteoarthritis, you have to have a number of factors happen first. Uh, osteoarthritis is basically going to be inflammation of the joint, and in this case we're talking about the knee, so it's the knee joint. In order to get to that point, you're unfortunately going to have some soft tissue breakdown over your first few decades of life. life uh, you have your cartilage breakdown and your meniscus breakdown. You're also going to have uh, a lot of uh, damage to the muscles around your knee and uh, weakness around your knee as we're getting a little bit older. And as a result of the weakness in your leg and your knee specifically and also the soft tissue breakdown, eventually the bones come closer together inside your knee. You get a little bit of rubbing and friction and it can eventually lead to pain and that's where you are termed to have uh, osteoarthritis. Uh, so unfortunately, you do have to have a little bit of pain and suffering along the way to reach that diagnosis. Um, and once you reach that diagnosis, you are going to be dealing with a lot of swelling on and off in nature, uh, difficulty with walking and doing stairs, and as well as difficulty with your everyday activities, uh, like getting up from a chair even. Um, it is a big problem with your older population again. Uh, and that is, again, due to the fact that you have to have a number of things happen first in order to reach that diagnosis. But it is very manageable and also very treatable with the right amounts of uh, exercise and correct exercise, as well as the right potential prescription medication from the doctor. So that's your osteoarthritis. It's uh, a very common problem, and uh, we see it a lot in the clinic.